Right, that was weird. So I've literally just finished a presentation. That's why I'm in this. So I had to stay off work, just like chill and do stuff. And um, I'm at Salford at the moment, as you can probably tell. Uh, just been to Salford Uni to do um, a talk to students at the moment who are current and they want to do a placement of some sort, like work placement or Erasmus. So what happened was a few weeks ago, or like, I think it was like before New Year's. No, it was, no, I think it was early January. I got an email from like, like placements coordinator, part of the um, Salford Uni staff. And he just an email to like every al alumni student to say, look, if you've been on the placement, get in touch and we'd like you to talk to our current students about how you found it, help you like work-wise and career-wise. So I was like, okay. So I sent them a an email back saying, look, is this for Erasmus or like, work just work students like who had a work placement while they're at uni or is it like Erasmus and I said nope all all sort of placements count and I was like okay so like I could have just like not done anything about it and just like not gone for it but um I was thinking if in the future like for Lingo Line or any business that I end up in if I have to like present or like pitch to uh, investors or like do a public speak a public announcement or something I'm going to need to be able to do a bit of, like, public speaking or, like, be confident at, like, speaking with a lot of people at once. So I thought, right, sod it. Should I kind of be bothered, like, putting my name down for this, even though, like, the... Well, I didn't know how many students there'd be there, to be fair. So in a room, it was weird. So I would have thought there'd be, like, 40 or 50 students in a lecture hall and I'd be at the front chatting with them. But it turns out they're about 10. But um, the fact is that I put my name down for it and I went for it. And I chatted to them. I had like a five slide presentation. It took me about 10 minutes last night to put together. Just like literally uh, like five words per slide just to, uh, as an indication of what I was talking about. But yeah, so it lasted like 20 minutes. And there were me and six of the, me and five of the students, 20 minutes per slot. So uh, yeah, the idea was to like practice on what it was like public speaking. That was my idea. So it was a bit of a selfish reason why I did it. But hopefully they got value from what my experience was anyway, like doing Spanish and that. So my point to put across was uh, build your personal brand. Don't say no to opportunity. Don't consider doing a placement. Just do it. The question shouldn't be, should I do a placement? It should be, what sort of placement should I do? Erasmus or work? I'd choose Erasmus every time. Literally knowing what the working work world is like, nine to five. Like, it's fun, but Erasmus was also fun. And if it's while you're at uni, you might as well make the most out of uni and do that, so that's what I'd say. And also, um, I said to them that if I hadn't have done my Erasmus, then I wouldn't have understood that I like languages and like Spanish, and then Lingo Online wouldn't be around because I wouldn't have had the craving to speak it, and so forth. So, um, yeah, it helped in several ways, and I hope that they... Yeah, they probably got a lot of value from it, to be fair. Uh, that even all 10 or 15 people in the room, mainly guys, like I think there's one or two girls there, because it was engineering. But yeah, it was um, students who are like aeronautical engineers, on the second year, about to go in the placement. So, um, it's cool. But uh, now I've got between what time is it now? Half three. Um, um, doing music at about 6 pm. So, I've got a few hours now to kill. And I might as well not drive back to Warrington because I'm already in Salford. So, I've got my laptop here anyway. Gonna work on a bit of lingo, maybe a bit, bit of music. If, oh, I've not got, I've got my earphones, but they're like, they're like, quite, they're not monitored. Well, they're Sony, but it's like not very good for producing really. But um, yeah, I'm doing a remix of Calvin Harris and Raggin Boneman. I think that's it, yeah, Raggin Boneman. Uh, you know that new song called Giant, or Giants, that's come out about three weeks ago? I'm doing a remix of that, because my mate uh, Jake said, look, this is stuck in my head now, do a remix of it, and it'll be decent. So I was like, yep, let's have a go at putting my own thing to that. So, I uh, don't know if he's heard it yet, probably hasn't, but um, yeah, so that's the idea anyway. So I'm going to try and release that as a like deep house it's like not my normal stuff like not my normal edm or like bass house stuff it's quite relaxing like it's i don't know if it's tech no it's quite minimal actually but uh, i like it anyway and uh that's all that matters really so yeah so what i'm gonna do is finish that get it published hopefully this week try try and see if a label can pick it up and promote it because that'll be decent but uh, other than that yeah so uh and kickboxing next monday so that's, yeah, that's summary of today. I had a day off work, did a presentation in front of like 10 or 15 students about what Erasmus was like. And now I'm just chilling, waiting till 6pm and doing music. So yeah, catch you in a bit.